Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and we have done the unthinkable. We've given Spider-Man a mighty CTP of destruction because we're trying to see just how mighty our friendly neighborhood spider can be. And this video is actually probably going to end up being a bit controversial because my opinion about the mighty CTP of destruction on Spider-Man is mixed. I'm not sure that it is the best um, hybrid build CTP for him. Or, or the high, the best hybrid build for him in general. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later because I think there are some aspects to Spider-Man that are very good for the strike proc and sort of a mighty CTP of destruction. And then I think there are aspects of his build and his sort of rotation and his gameplay that are not good for it. But there we go. We're going to pop off our main proc there. I think we missed it, however. There we go, we got it. The nice thing about Spidey is that you can basically... Um, you can basically get the strike proc on every single rotation. That is the nice part. Just because of how much movement he has, in addition to... Um, nice. In addition to the time that you have to wait in between his fifth skills, it gives you enough time to just run around and charge it up uh, every single time here. Now we're going to pop off a huge one here. Oh, ju just short. Just short of getting to the next phase in 90 seconds. That is extraordinarily fast. And that is probably the best example of just how much damage he can do if you get everything to line up. And if I had gotten the 1.2% accumulation, because remember, guys, this accumulation, it's, um, it's either 0.4 or 0.8. Oh, here we goofed up because we did not get the strike proc. I forgot to move around so we still do a very nice six bars of damage no <laughs> nothing to, nothing to get sad about there but what you're actually going to notice is that his strike proc triggers very early in the rotation and that is because it triggers as soon as you press the three even though you're trying to charge up the three i'm gonna die here because i couldn't cancel four into six we missed our proc lots of things went bad there but we're gonna try and recover it here so yeah, that's really the issue, I think, with Spider-Man and what makes him not good for a charge-up proc from like a beatdown or, or a strike. It doesn't matter whether it's a CTP of energy or a CTP of destruction, but basically, for the majority of the time, the way that you're going to play it is you're going to... I could have charged up the tier 3 there by using a 1 and 2 in between, but I didn't do that. But basically, the way that you're going to play it, right, the, you want to start with 3 at the beginning of your rotation, but the problem with starting with 3 is that it oh my goodness he just canceled my okay well that's okay that's all right we're still gonna get a good proc here and this is pretty close to my best run with spidey it's a, it's a little off but that's okay so my actual my fastest run with him with this ctp was two minutes and 15 seconds so we're about 22 seconds off of that but that's okay doesn't matter because it's still very very fast right clearing stage 39 in three minutes is extremely fast however i do think that there is more to this than just slap the ctp on or a brilliant version of the ctp and now you have the best pv character because here's the thing spidey's rotation actually works against the mighty ctp of destruction and the brilliant ctp of destruction and the mighty and the brilliant energy and i'll explain why because of the way that the strike proc those those strike procs those beatdown procs they they, co they collect their, their energy or whatever. They, they build up that, that little blue bar with the lines in it. It builds up by moving around. The issue is Spider-Man's third skill moves him around. And so the traditional, the traditional strategy with other characters, like let's say Hella, for example, you run around and you build up the strike proc, and then you'll just quickly cancel all of your skills. But you can't quickly cancel three. You can quickly cancel four and then quickly press five and you can quickly cancel six, but you can't quickly cancel three because if you quickly cancel three, you're going to get the lowest amount of accumulation. You're going to get 0.4% and you want to hold it a little bit for at least 0.8 or if you're really fast, you want to let him zip forward and get that 1.2%. But in order to do that, you actually have to trigger the strike proc. So that's what you were seeing and that's what you basically see in every single video for Spider-Man and I'll show you against Proxima here. You basically have to play like a god, and it's it's definitely possible. I'm, I don't want to say it's impossible, but what I'm basically trying to say is that it may not be worth the effort. Now, 
I say that knowing some of you out there are such diehard Spider-Man fans that you could be watching this video with a Spider-Man tattoo on right now. So maybe you do want to make it work, and I'll explain how you make it work if you want to be, like I said, the very best Spider-Man PvE player. You basically have to run around at the beginning of every rotation, but stop just short of the proc of the of the full strike proc accumulating. Because what happens if you run around and fill it up completely? Here's what happens. I fill it up, I fill it up, I fill it up. It's full now. And now when I press three, it's going to activate. And then I cancel four into five. And you can see here that my proc activated at five, right? Because the, the proc activates with a five second cooldown. When the when the um, the strike proc had two or three seconds left. So you're actually only getting about half of the duration of the buff because the first half, when you press the third skill and start winding up, is taken up by the third skill. So how do you fix this? Well, there's really only one way to fix this, and it's it's borderline impossible. Listen, I've conquered Shang-Chi's rotation. Back in the day, we conquered uh, Doctor Strange rotation, but I don't know if this one's conquerable. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to put in the, the time that it takes, and you also need some extremely good eyesight. But essentially, what you need to do is you need to run around at the beginning of every rotation with Spider-Man, and you need to stop just short of the proc. And then you let the three fill up. There you go. I just did it by chance. I got really lucky. And there you have it. So basically, because the third skill has movement, you can use the third skill's movement without triggering your regular destruction proc, right? You use the movement of the third skill to fill up that final bar. And then when you press four, it will activate the strike proc. And then when you press five, when you cancel four immediately into five, it should trigger your destruction proc. And then they will have almost identical timers. In this case, the strike proc was still a little bit early. It could have it definitely could have been cleaner. My regular proc there has two seconds left, but it was it was a little bit. I think I got like an extra second. But that extra second, if you go and compare the damage, ended up being an extra bar of damage. So you can absolutely make the most of a mighty or brilliant CTP of destruction or CTP of energy if you can pull off this sort of timing. And I'll try to show it to you again here. We're going to run around with Spider-Man. Okay, it's going to be tough here because I need her to I need her to come over here. We're basically going to wait for her to come over here. We're going to okay. We didn't even do it properly there. No, we we did not get that right. We'll tr we'll try it again here. I, I had filled up a little bit too much, so it activated as soon as I pressed three. So you just need to trigger just enough. There we go. And then as he moves forward, oh, even there. See, in that case, I didn't I didn't uh, fill up enough of it, and so the strike proc didn't didn't trigger. So you can see, even even though I'm playing with intent and I know exactly what to do, the timing and not only it's not only the timing, it's knowing how much of the bar you filled up. And seeing that tiny, tiny little bar, I mean, if they moved the bar, if they made it bigger, if they made it easier to see, if it was easier to calculate, right, with, with a certain number of, of joystick movements, you could see I've, I've you know, I've, I've added exactly 95%, and then you press three, and then that little bit of movement where he springs forward at the end of three, that would fill it up to 100%, but that's basically what you need to do, because otherwise you're only getting about half of the strike procs duration. Now... Half is still really good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Half is still very, very good. As you can see there, I cleared stage 39 of Mephisto in, in just over uh, three minutes. And he can actually do it in under three minutes. And he can actually do, I believe he can do stage 49 of Null. Check this out. So 49 of Null and 39 of Mephisto is nothing to be upset about. All I'm saying is... Unlike a character, let's say like Hela or some other characters, Spider-Man doesn't have... I'm going to try this here with Null. Just fill it up almost all the way. And then there we go. I got it. Sweet. And then my proc was late. So we didn't get too much damage. Okay, you should get about two bars there. We didn't get the full two bars. So yeah. Basically, there we go. The strike proc has been super duper late. But that's okay. Okay. There we go, we got the full damage and the full sort of, you know, Kalamazoo. I'm gonna probably end up, oh, we didn't proc, oh, wow. The, the, wow, that destruction proc is super late, okay. All right. The nice thing about the destruction proc, like the beatdown proc on a mighty or brilliant energy, is that you're also going to get the, um, the guard break immunity. 
and the guard break immunity is huge because Spider-Man does get knocked back quite a bit. So that is one thing that I'm sort of undervaluing at this point in time uh, of the, uh, you know, review. I am being a little bit hard on the uh, the destruction and the mighty destruction because let's let's be honest. It's a, oh, that's, that was bad on my part. I ran into that stun. It's a lot of investment, right? To basically sacrifice two CTPs. So you want to know that you're getting the best bang for your buck. And here's the thing. Here's my thesis with Spider-Man. He's already so good. There, that's my thesis. <laughs> He's already so good with an obelisk. He's already so good with a regular energy, right? So why then give him a mighty destruction? Save the mighty destruction for someone who really needs it, like Hela or somebody else. I'm not saying that's what you sh that's what you should do. I'm just saying that's a possibility. And in my opinion, it may just be a better use of your resources because of the fact that in this case, ah, my proc was it early. That's a bummer, dude. In this case, Spider-Man is just so good without it. That's a bummer. Yeah, I uh, I got a really bad proc there because I I missed. I don't know why he pressed three right away. I guess I pressed three right away without knowing it. We're going to activate this thing here. He's going to kick forward. We're going to get the full 1.2%. And not bad. Okay, we need to charge this up. He's going to jump again here. Oh, we did not get the full... Man, just a little bit of damage left there. That was really annoying. If my proc... If my tier 3 before the first spike phase had been better, we would not be in this situation. Let's go. Here we go. Full damage. One, two, three, four bars. Nice. Oh, what? He... Okay, he interrupted me there. I'm not exactly sure how. It's a bit annoying. But Spidey's dealing with it surprisingly well. Okay, he's going to jump here, which is annoying, but uh, not too much we can do about it. Okay. Boy, the third skill is really sensitive on my phone right now. Oh, we get a great proc, though. Really good damage. Oh, I, and then my destruction proc was early instead of late. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well, this is, this is going to be tight. He might not make it. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, still, I, this is not a perfect run, so I'm, you know, we're going to show you a realistic run, but I'm sure he can do this. I, I'm sure he can do this. You may need a more flawless run or a near flawless run, but this is not bad at all for, uh, you know, my, basically my second try. I wasn't sitting here practicing this for hours, so I may need to switch here. He was stuck in the fourth skill after the co-op. We have time. We have a little bit of time here. We can squeak out a little bit of damage with these cats just to help Spidey out neighborhood friendly neighborhood yada 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 yeah Spidey when he gets down to it boom so good so good baby so he's rocking this right he's rocking this and now we're all ready and teed up to go for the tier 3 rotation here oh what happened ah <sighs> could not could not get the six skill. Could not cancel into six fast enough and got guard broken, knocked back. Okay, that was no good. We got 20 seconds left. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can make out of this. Oof. Okay. We're not going to make it, eh? That's okay. I don't mind. That's fine. He can definitely do 49. You guys saw it. We had a few mistakes. We had a few sort of missed procs where there's really nothing I can do about the destruction proc not activating. I maybe could have canceled out of three a little bit faster just to guarantee that first rotation. So we could have squeezed in two tier threes. I don't have as much trouble usually with Spider-Man to have to worry that much about it. But that would have been the way to tackle that, um, that rotation there. Honestly, I might have been better off just doing six right away. Uh, or I don't think I had six charged up, but basically just instant cancel three, right? Just just settle for the 0.4% accumulation there in that last phase with null. Settle for that, and then um, and then go ahead and guarantee the uh, the six cancel four cancel five. Guarantee that first procs worth of damage that definitely would have cleared it. Not too worried about that, but 
The other thing you need to remember and, and to remind you guys of is he can still rock, right? He can still rock in PvP. And this is actually the PvP team that I go to. But we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we just got to switch uniforms here. And this is why this is such a good hybrid build. Because the guard break immunity from the destruction helps him to obviously stop him from getting guard broken. And then the uh, the strike proc actually helps him counter other Spider-Man. It gives him that extra boost of damage that he needs versus certain opponents, right? Just to take that last piece of damage off, that last chip off A, B, and C. But here we go. Let's just do a quick couple matches so you guys can see. What the? Bro, my phone is, is <laughs> wilding out of control at the moment. There you go. Just completely obliterated. Like, Doom just blinked and died. Oh, he's glitching out here. Gone. Good night, fair prince. It's going to be interesting to see how he fa fares against another Spider-Man. Boom. Oh! Barely survived. And now he's going to die to reflect here. Yep. But there you go. He gets it done. Drops a Spider-Man and two Dooms. You know, this is why they say this is the best hybrid build. But the thing is... I'm gonna I want actually want to switch him back to yeah Colossus is terrible against anybody who deals energy damage I actually want to switch spider-man back in a, in a in another video I know we're, we're milking the spider-man content here but I actually want to go back and see so I know he can clear 49 null and 39 Mephisto you can clear 49 null with like five seconds left okay fine that's his limit but still 49 null is amazing and then he can go all the way up to 39 Mephisto and he's got he's got time right if if he could do the next uh, the next five stages of Mephisto, if this wasn't villain, he could probably go up to 43 or 44 of that, right? But the next two restrictions don't allow him to play at all because it's, it's universal and blast. But he's got two minutes plus left against Mephisto. Every 30 seconds is a stage. You sort of get the deal. So this is an amazing CTP for him. But I sort of wonder, right, given the fact that he can't take full advantage of the strike proc duration, given his regular rotation, is it better to give one of the best characters in the game just just settle for a regular ctp of energy and then save this for a more needy character it was sort of the same logic that i had in the past about not giving sharon rogers a ctp of energy because she was already just so good without it we may be past that point in the game we may be past the point of needing to really hoard ctps that much but for some of you out there who haven't been playing for very long it may be, be something to consider especially if you're not you know attached to spider-man in the way where you need to shower him with everything because honestly he can do, I have videos, he does stage 35 of, of Mephisto, only four stages lower, with a regular Obelisk. And the difference in cost between a regular Obelisk and a Mighty Destruction is like night and day, right? So just some food for thought. I think he's amazing with a Mighty Destruction, not saying he's bad at all. He definitely isn't perfectly synergized for it like some other characters are. But it'll be interesting to see when another uh, more synergistic character comes along so we can compare... Uh, and really get the full value out of that five seconds like we do with Hela, even though she doesn't make any use of it on her regular one to five rotation because it doesn't do any damage. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Hybrid Spider-Man The Wailing Part 2, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.